All right, so this is a game room tour. I usually try to do one of these every year, but I missed last year. So this is my side station with all the you know retro games and some newer games. You got the PS4, Saturn, uh, Retro Pi, and a Raspberry Pi 4. Got Mortal Kombat right there. And uh, got one of my wheels. This is a uh, Hori Apex. Then my other wheel, G29. Got the shifter with that one. Then if you come over here, projector at the bottom. Also a PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 with the Kinect right there. And then if you come over here, it's the main station. So this is where the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox One is plugged into. So I got the PlayStation 5 tucked away down there. Use this for the flight simulator. And then this Wii Fit thing, we haven't used that in ages. I'm not sure why I still have that. Little figurines, Monkey Leaf, Luffy. This was more fun than expected. This uh, Mario home cart. And over here is where I keep uh, handhelds at and uh, miscellaneous controllers. And uh, right here, Switch OLED. It's also connected to that TV. And this right here is my first gaming computer. I got this back in 2008, I wanna say. And it's still running to this day. The, I did upgrade the RAM and uh, uh, GPU up in there. So let's go over here. This is where I stream at. So right now it has. All right, so I got the way my stream setup is. This is this 32 inch right here. This is where the games get played at. And then the side panel. That's where my um, OBS studio and stuff like that is open at. And this is my latest build. This has a uh, RTX 3070 inside it. My cross-up uh, fight stick. This is the one that I'm using currently for the most part. Then back here is all type of stuff going on. So this is my uh, splitter. So if I want to play my PlayStation 5 on my monitor, I just press this button. Then in the back, that's the capture card. I'm going to do a more detailed... Uh, Thing about those later and these are my magazines or not magazines but you know gaming uh, strategy guides and stuff so I got my Zeldas my uh, PlayStation magazines got majority of the Mortal Kombat Power Stone went in there Then down here is my uh, Zelda collection. So most of my Zeldas is in there. The NES Classic right there. Four Swords Adventure. My Zelda books. Right, fun stuff. Now if you come over here to this shelf, this is where I keep my Sega Genesis and Sega Saturn games and also Dreamcast. On this little shelf right here, let me move these out of the way. So the Saturn games, I don't have that many of them, those are at the bottom. And then right there is the uh, PlayStation 1 collection, uh, most of them. And then my early birthday gift, there's going to be a video about this coming out in a few days but this video will come after so this is a street fighter legacy rk one up cabinet I ended up getting this for my birthday it's pretty neat got 12 games on there dark soccer strider 
Put on some fun stuff. And this right here is my masterpiece. Yep, I love Shaq food. <laughs> Get the laughs out. So this is my um this is my for the most part my whole gaming collection. I do well not the most part. I probably got about 20% upstairs. So I'm gonna get another uh, media shelf to to uh, start putting some more games on. But I do have another shelf upstairs. It's like down here, Game Boy Advance. That's actually my sister. She doesn't take care of stuff, so I hold on to it. This is my original PlayStation 3. This one doesn't work. That's why it's sitting right here. And then this is my Talking Wids Kids Plus. This is my first ever computer, if you want to call it that. I believe I got this in like fourth grade or something like that. PlayStation 3. PlayStation 3. Yeah. And then over here, I got a JFJ Easy Pro Disc Cleaner. Got to clean this out. So like if I get a game that's not working, I try to buckle it or get the scratches out of it, see if I can get it to work. And the back of this, I got a few switches. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dedicate like a video to how I got all this stuff set up. Yep, and I think I got one more, so two more things to show you. My uh, Oculus, I got it. You got to get one of these stands if you got one of these. It makes putting this thing up a whole lot, whole lot easier. You don't have to worry about uh, you don't have to worry about you know scratching it up and get one of these. And then lastly is my boxes. I do have some boxes over there in the corner because I couldn't fit all of them over here. Yeah. So I try to keep most of my boxes. Some of them got uh, damaged in the uh, a flood that I had in the basement at another house a while ago. So like my PlayStation 3 box is gone. I'll probably, if I can find one for a decent price, I'll just uh, buy another uh, box. But it's not really gonna do it right now. Uh, then some more VHS tapes. It. E strikes Beetlejuice. Yeah. And then my CRT TV. This is actually my wife's CRT TV. <laughs> I threw mine away a long time ago, but I use that to play uh, the PlayStation 1, the N64 games. And that's pretty much it. And then this is where I keep my, my arcade sticks. A little shelf for those. But uh, yeah, thanks for checking out the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace out.